Hello and welcome to series two of our workshop Wednesdays. Um, I'm going to start with a beer. So if you're at home and you're just finishing work, um, I've got a hazy IPA. So um, do help yourself. Um, so welcome to Workshop Wednesdays. We're live here in our London workshop. Um, and what we basically do is we teach people at home how to build their own bamboo bicycles. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you our latest and simplest home build kit. So I'm going to run through some of the features of this kit and how, it, how it's simple to put together and how easy it is to make at home. So I'm just going to show you, I've got it all laid out here. I'm just going to talk through each component, how it works um, and how it all comes together. So that if you're looking at it online, you just get a bit more detail in this demo. OK. So this is our Road Easy Frame Build Kit, as I've mentioned. I've got the manual here, OK. And I'll just start with that because obviously when you when you open the box, that's what's the first thing you're going to see. Um, and it comes obviously with a full index. And I'll just run through those, getting started, jig setup, frame assembly, how to glue everything up. And it's got all the details in here, chapter by chapter. And what we've just introduced is we've got QR codes for each chapter. And these QR codes link directly to the tutorial on YouTube. So as you're building, you can use this as your guide and then you can find that live video. And that's kind of a, most of the tutorials are kind of five minutes long and they'll tell you exactly what's in the box for this section. And for example, when you come to something a bit more complex like the jig setup, there'll be someone showing you exactly how that's done and how it's put together. So you can kind of just get to each stage and you can see here it's all illustrated and you can find out exactly how to do this. And this is a really nice reference guide. So if you're kind of working at your shed at home or you're you know, on your kitchen table, you've got this manual to work through. It just keeps you in a step-by-step -step process. So it's really nice to, to follow. So that's the manual that we've got there. And that will also come with a layout plan and a drawing and so on. So if you're just joining us, I'm just going to run through one of our kits and just talk you through all the features and what's included and what's involved. Just so that if you're thinking about building a bike and you're not sure of what the features are or what to think about, I'm going to try and help you with some of those features. So the next thing I've got here is we've got our home build kit. And this is a home build jig. Okay. So this is our jig. And what a jig is, is it allows you to replicate something and to make everything really accurate. So if you think about a bicycle, when you're building, you wanna make sure that the rear wheel, for example, fits accurately in the frame. It's beautifully centered and everything is aligned. And what happens, what, what we, we've got to help you with that is an alignment jig. So you, you put it all together. So we've got these pieces here that will then plug into here, like so. And then you can slot all of your frame parts into this like so and that, what that will do is it will give you the confidence when you're building to align the frame perfectly so we've got we've got a laser cut jig so this is just popped together and you just assemble that really simply and these will be elements here and again that's all covered in the manual as well and i'll just kind of give you an idea so for example this slots together here like so so it's super simple We've got a piece that goes over that, like so. Slides down, so this is the jig. And then if we take this piece, for example, this will slot in over. So excuse the noise, it's a nice fit. So that slides in, like so, and that will slide off and on, so depending what you build. So that helps to keep all the bottom bracket. And you imagine the bottom bracket, which is this piece here, we want to keep that as square as possible so that when you're pedaling, everything's perfectly aligned. So that's the jig. So that all comes with the kit. And it's all made up of these laser cut elements. And the really nice part about the laser cut is that it's super simple to assemble. You don't need to use any glue or anything else. And it will just lay on any flat surface. So you can fit it onto a dining room table, 
You don't need to screw it down. It just lays down and all the pieces slot together. So it's a really easy way to build. If, and all you're going to need is a desk or a flat table. So if you're just joining us, I'm just running through our easy build kit. And I'm just, it's a new thing we've worked on and we're working on a gravel version at the moment. So we'll be releasing that soon. So if you're interested in the gravel version, get in touch. And I've just talked through the manual and I've talked through the jig that helps everything stay aligned. And then what I'm gonna talk through next is just what these lugs are. So these connection pieces, what they mean and how, how, how they go together. So each one of these makes up the different parts of the bicycle. And you can see behind me, I've got a full bicycle here. So you can see that this element here will go at the front here. And then we've got this element that will go here. And then all you need to then do is insert the ba bamboo into these fittings, okay? And what we've got here is we've got all the pieces of bamboo. And these are all specially selected so that they match the diameter of these holes here. And you can insert. And all you need to do, I've got one that I've kind of started machining, is you take these edges and you just take them down. And an example here is you take a knife and you just gently remove some of the surface. And what that will do is it gives you a really, really nice fit in here, like so. So that fits in like so. And then you can fit in the head tube like so. So that's our bicycle starting to take shape. And then obviously you can then start to work the other pieces and that will go in like so. And then we've got our top tube and that will all glue together. Okay, and I'm gonna talk you through the glue in the next steps. I'm just gonna explain each one of these and what features they each have. These are all designed as pre-molded, so they're super strong. The weight of them is just under a kilo. So you can create a really, really light, super, super, super lightweight frame. So it's easy to do, easy to assemble. So the head tube one, We've got all the bearing fittings inside of here. So, it, so if you're fitting your fork, the bearings just fit exactly inside and that's all machined in place. We've also got internal cabling. So if you wanna run your front derailleur, rear derailleur or disc brake, we've got all the fittings here, here and here. So that's the head tube. We've got the bottom bracket. So we've got an insert here, which is a, for a threaded bottom bracket. So it's for a 68 mil English threaded bottom bracket. So that will fit your Shimano bottom bracket, SRAM, Campag, all the standard bottom brackets will fit into here. So it means that you can have really, really good compatibility. Underneath, we've got an opening here. So you can access all your cables. So it's just a neat sleeve. And you just loosen off this bolt, like so. and that just pulls out there. And that means you can then access all your internal cabling. It makes it super simple to fit. We've also got a little holder here for your front derailleur, if you want to fit a front derailleur up through here. And this is spec to be 35 mil, so it will fit a standard clamp-on, 34.9 clamp-on front derailleur, so it's easy to fit. And then for all the internal cables at the front, and then we've got cable exit points here so you can run them through to the rear of the frame. So that's the bottom bracket one. We've got the head tube here, which fits a standard seat post. Again, the internal cables, and we've also got rack mounts. So if you want to fit a rack for commuting or anything else, we've, we've got rack inserts here that just screw on and you can fit any universal rack. So that's the seat tube holder. The other thing we've done, is we've worked really hard is the dropouts, okay? So this is what holds your rear wheel. So you can see it, maybe just about see it here. So the rear wheel holders. We've got disc mounts here, so you can fit any type of flat mount disc. And obviously you can use different adapters for different types of discs. Right, so if you're just joining us, I'm just running through the easy build kit. So sit back, relax, and have a beer. Um, I've talked through the manual. I've talked through the jigs, so do go back through and have a look. 
And I've also gone through how the bamboo fits into the lux. And I'm just talking about the dropouts now. And the dropouts are the pieces that hold the rear wheel in place, okay? So at the moment, we've got these set up for a QR, so a standard QR um, quick release wheel. And say you come along and you go, oh, I want to run single speed now. I want to set up a through axle. I want a different system on my rear wheel. What you can do is you take the two bolts at the rear and you loosen them off like so, okay? And you can do this when the bike's built. You can do it during the build. So it means that at home, you can customize your frame. You can create whatever gearing system you want. And that's very unusual normally. So most bikes come with a fixed dropout. With ours, we've got loads of different options. So that simply comes off. So we take that off and we can now fit on a horizontal dropout. So that will fit on there. So that's a horizontal fitting. And that will run a single speed setup or if you're a big fan of internal hubs, that will also run an internal hub, okay? The other final thing is we also have a through axle. So a lot of people are moving towards through axles now. So the through axle will just slide onto here like so. Picked up the wrong one. So it's there. Um, and that will slide in place here. So you can run a through axle and that's compatible to a 12 mil through axle. And we've also got the weird railer hanger here. Okay. So that can be set up. So that means you've basically got every combination of bicycle wheel out there. So if you've got an old bike at home that you want to use as a donor, they're all going to fit onto this dropout. And as I mentioned, you could do disc mounts if you want to. You can also set the frame up for caliper brake. So it comes with a rear brake bridge as standard. So you can fit that in. So it means you can run disc, caliper and if you really want to you can fit cantilever mounts as well so what we try to do with this frame is make it really really compatible because i think i've been teaching people for eight years now how to build bicycles and it's very very rare that someone builds a frame and they say oh right that's i'm happy with the setup i never want to change it again or they know what type of rear wheel they want to fit or they know what type of braking system so that's why we try to design all of our kits so that once you've built the frame, if you're not sure what you're going to fit and then suddenly you are sure, you can still fit all those parts. So if you're not sure about running a single speed or if you're not sure about gears and you just want to build a frame, at a later stage, you can change the frame however you want. Once it's built, you can change it to be compatible with a second-hand wheel that you bought, something you bought brand new, or the latest £2,000 wheel set. They'll all work on, on this frame. So that's something we've, we've spent money on and time to manufacture all these bits and make sure that it's all compatible. So if you're just joining us, I'm running through our Easy Build kit. I'm just showing people the details of the product just so you get an understanding in a bit more detail what's involved. This is our Workshop Wednesdays. We run this every two weeks. The Series 1 is all on our YouTube. And if you tune in next week, I'll be doing more of a tutorial, so a how-to. This is a bit more of a product feature. Um, we'll be talking about how you fit components. We'll be talking about how you work with bamboo, how you build a frame, and all the different elements that I'll be running through. So we've got a really exciting series coming up of Workshop Wednesday. So you can obviously catch them on our YouTube channel. They'll all be live um, and you can catch up on, on them at a later date. So don't worry if you've missed it or if you want to come back to this. So the final thing I'm going to talk about is just the bamboo. So we've got specially kind of selected bamboo. It all gets cut to lengths. And then what you need to do is just improve the fit into these lugs. So we're looking to create a really nice tolerance fit. And we allow for about one to two millimeters of tolerance. So what you need to do is then just remove the material from the bamboo and then it will slide inside of the lug. So I've got one that I started earlier. You can just see that sliding through in. And you can see it's a loose-ish fit, but there's enough movement that I can remove that and take that off. And once that's all fit, 
fitted. What we need to use is we need to use a structural adhesive. So we need to use an epoxy resin. And we spent quite a lot of time looking at different glues. There are thousands of different um, epoxy resins or other types of glue on the market and each one will give you different performance and it will give you different set times and it will give you different yeah all types so what we've done is we've looked at a range and we've looked at 3m as as an option for this and the one we've selected is the dp460 and the benefit of this it's really good in high fatigue so if you're cycling every day and you're putting a lot of stress on that that glue is going to work really well where it's on the high fatigue high lows and continual pressure. So that's what this glue is really, really good for. You've got a 60 minute work time as well. So it allows you to fit all of the bamboo in and obviously tweak things, get everything aligned and gives you a bit, it's a bit more generous. You can get some glues that will set in five minutes. And so it's not ideal if you're working at home, if you're trying to get everything fitting together. So this will give you 60 minutes. And once it's fitted, it will also, any little gaps that you've got, it will soak those up and it will fill that with glue and just harden. And so it works really, really well with bamboo and for this type of application. And it's not uncommon for frames to be glued together. So if you think about carbon fibre, if you think about early aluminium frames and so on, they were all glued with an adhesive. And if you're flying on a plane or anything like that or in a boat, they're all glued together. So it's one of it's one of the strongest ways to join a material. Um, and you only have to look at the emergence now of carbon fiber frames. And the majority of carbon fiber frames are made up of about 60% carbon, and the rest of it is glue, so 40% glue. So without that glue binding it all together, it doesn't work. So we're using exactly that same application, and we're just combining these preformed lugs with bamboo to join everything together. So it's a very known way to, to make things and join things together. And obviously in the manual, we talk through the process and the key things to consider when you're joining it together to your frame is that you haven't got any dirt or anything like that. So you need to make sure that you clean the surfaces and everything is cleaned up really well before gluing. And the benefit of also machining the bamboo down as well is that the top layer of bamboo is quite resistant to gluing. It's very high in silicon, so it's an, it will naturally debond. But by removing the top layers, we expose some of this grain. And the beauty of that is then we've got a really, really good surface to adhere to the lugs. And that will give really good longevity. We also get a bit of absorption of the glue into the fibers of the bamboo. And that's gonna join these together really, really well. Um, so I think, guys, that's everything on the home build kit. And I'll just talk you through this frame here. Um, I've got this set up as a road frame, so you can see we've got a front derailleur, we, we've got rear derailleur, so it's fully geared. We've got disc mounts on here as well. If you wanted to, you could set this up as a single speed. You could have flat handlebars. You can have a one-by system. You can have a hub gear. So you can set this frame up for loads of different applications. And generally a road frame can be repurposed for a hybrid frame or a single speed. It's pretty much the same geometry. So you can set all these different types of bikes up. So if you've got any questions, get in touch. Um, but thank you ever so much for tuning into our live workshop Wednesdays. And please do tune in to our next one and we're gonna do a bit more of a demo, a how-to video, so I'm gonna explain how to do things. So thanks ever so much for tuning in. Bye for now. And thank